Hello everyone and welcome back to Royalty Now. Today we'll be counting down your top 10 favorite recreations of 2023. We both want to thank you all for your amazing support this year, helping us grow the channel and being here for every video. We see your heartwarming comments and they are without a doubt one of the biggest reasons why we love doing this. So once again, thank you. Now let's go ahead and get started. Number 10, Richard III. One of the most infamous kings in English history, Richard III was known for being fiercely loyal to his older brother, King Edward IV. But after Edward's death, Richard would betray him and take the throne for himself by imprisoning Edward's children in the Tower of London, never to be seen again. Richard would only rule England for two years before he was killed by Henry VII, which began the Tudor dynasty in England. He's a fascinating figure to bring to life because we have portraits of him as well as a forensic reconstruction of his skull. I've combined what historians consider to be the most accurate portrait with influences from the forensic model for this recreation. Number nine, Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut is one of the first great women in history. She was able to use effective propaganda to go against hundreds of years of patriarchal Egyptian tradition and name herself as Pharaoh of Egypt. She would usher Egypt into a golden age. Hatshepsut had many statues created of her during her lifetime, but Egyptian art is tricky. It's usually more symbolic than artistic, especially in Hatshepsut's case. But even still, her art has its own distinct face and I was able to bring Hatshepsut to life using this statue head, as well as accurate Egyptian clothing and a wig from her time. Number eight. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is one of the most celebrated authors of all time, with books like Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. She's able to make her audience laugh, cry, and understand the lives of women in the 18th century, giving modern readers a snapshot into history and making us all realize just how alike we are to men and women from the past. Since Jane Austen was anonymous during her lifetime, we don't have too many reliable portraits of her. The most accurate likeness is considered this sketch made by her sister, Cassandra. Descriptions of Jane give her rosy cheeks and bright, intelligent hazel eyes. Number seven, Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc massively changed the course of history when she had a vision from God that told her to save the French from being conquered by the English. Against all odds, she was able to crown the rightful heir of France as king and inspire millions to fight in the Hundred Years' War, which would ultimately end with France reclaiming their country from the English. She's a fascinating figure for whom we have no images. There's a statue head that has been connected with the legend of Joan for hundreds of years. So I've combined the statue image with physical descriptions and period accurate clothing to bring Joan of Arc to life. Number six, Boudicca. The queen of an ancient Celtic tribe, Boudicca's story is one of betrayal and revenge. When her husband died, Roman soldiers pillaged her land and tortured her and her daughters. Not long after, she would lead an enormous uprising that would lead to the deaths of over 80,000 Roman civilians before she was finally defeated. The fierce tale of Boudicca would ultimately lead to the Romans abandoning their expansion into Celtic land forever. We have no portraits of this warrior queen, 
So I've brought her to life using the one description we have by Cassius Dio, which says she was extremely fierce and tall with a great mass of red hair. I've used the Celtic Britain phenotype to create her facial features. So this is an accurate depiction of what a Celtic queen from the time would have looked like. Number five, King Louis XIV. The Sun King is the longest reigning monarch in history. Under his rule, France would be transformed from a financially struggling and divided country into the world's leading cultural powerhouse, with Louis at its center. His personal interests would usher in a golden age of arts and reason, which produced the Palace of Versailles and massively influenced the way the world has worked since his reign. He lived an illustrious life with dozens, if not hundreds of images of him circulated throughout France. We see him here as a handsome youth wearing an enormous style of wig that he would become famous for. Number four, Harriet Tubman. Known as the Moses of her people, Harriet Tubman escaped the hellish reality of slavery in America and became a free woman, only to return to the South in order to lead others to freedom. Although no one knows exactly how many she saved, historians believe that Harriet risked her life at least 13 times, guiding nearly 300 slaves out of the South to freedom. We are lucky enough to have a few photographs of Harriet. This one was just discovered a few years ago. I've used it to bring Harriet back to life. It was taken around 1868 when Harriet would have been in her early 40s. Number three, George Washington. The founding father of the United States, George Washington was the commander in chief of the Continental Army, a hero of the American Revolution and the first president of the United States. He's become a symbol of liberty and freedom. The United States of America, through all of its growing pains, has tried its hardest to follow in his footsteps, with millions of people around the world still calling it the greatest nation on earth. In 1785, at the age of 53, Washington had a life mask made by French sculptor Jean Antoine Houdon. That plaster cast was made into several statues, one of which I've used to bring him to life here. Number two, Mary, Queen of Scots. One of the most famous women in Scottish history Mary, Queen of Scots, spent much of her childhood in France. But when her French husband died abruptly in 1560, ending their alliance, Mary had to return to a Scotland that she barely knew. Her claim to the English throne made her a huge threat to her cousin, Elizabeth I of England. And the two queens were engaged in a power struggle lasting decades. After being found guilty of plotting against Elizabeth, Mary was executed in 1587. I brought her to life here from the Lennox Love death mask, supposedly made from her face in the hours following her execution. Mary was said to be a great beauty in her lifetime, tall and elegant with bright red hair and enchanting brown eyes. Number one. Helen of Troy. Known in Greek mythology as the most beautiful woman in history and the face that launched a thousand ships, Helen of Troy's legendary looks were responsible for the bloody war in the epic poem, The Odyssey. With characters like Achilles and the Trojan horse, the story has been told for thousands of years, with millions trying to imagine the legendary face of Helen. What I did here was recreate a likeness of what the Greeks reading the Odyssey would consider in their minds to be the most beautiful woman they could think of. Helen's face here is based off of the golden ratio, which the Greeks were famous for, and a statue of Aphrodite, 
with ancient Greek beauty standards in mind. Thank you all so much for watching this video and in all of 2023, and we'll see you in 2024.